So maybe you've got a drill with a dead battery and you can't get it anymore. Maybe you're like me and found some great power tools at the local used store, but can't get the battery anymore. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that super easy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Throw a like on this if you like what I'm doing towards the end. Guys, anybody can fix up these tools, these batteries. These things are proprietary. The companies want you to buy new ones all the time. This is kind of obsolete stuff, 14.4 volt, but it works just fine. In a previous video, you saw I got two full sets of these tools, sawzall, skill saws, drills, vacuums, but all the batteries are junk. And even the ones I got, junk, but I was able to get the cases and that's all that matters. Today I'm going to show you how easy you can put, make your own battery connection in these. Add a LiPo battery or add 18650s or whatever you want. Today we're going to use a LiPo battery. Okay, to retrofit these things we're going to need some kind of a battery. I have these 1300 milliamp hour uh, LiPos. These are, are really high C rating, 75C, which is a pretty pretty heavy duty way more than a drill needs problem with using lipos is they don't take kindly to being run down so we got to be really really smart about it if we're going to use these but we're going to set it up that we can use whatever we want or at least that's the plan we're going to need in this case i'm going to use some xt60s and then some wire that's it And with any luck, our case is going to come apart and we'll find our gloriously yucky ugh, NICAD batteries. Now what we want, hmm, this is going to be a little trickier than what I thought. We're going to have to put this back up inside and I think what I'll do is probably glue it in place. And then I'll use my leads to power from my LiPo. All right, this is kind of fugly, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flex this. Well, that was easy. I was just going to flex that back and forth until we break it off the tab of this kind of rotten cell of battery here. But I'm going to go ahead and snip this with my side cutters. And then we'll get our tab back. And this tab we're going to need because this is our positive side. And we're going to need to there set that back on there. No problem. Positive, negative. Actually, I'm going to clarify something. Not optional in the case. I have to check this. This is a thermistor um, or uh, uh, temperature activated switch of some form in here to make sure that the drill powers down if the battery becomes too hot. Now, we just need to check and see whether this, you know what? We can just leave this in. If we make this permanent, we can just stick this to the side of our LiPo and keep that safety in, intact. That's the right thing to do. We could jump it out or leave it open. I'm assuming it's probably normally closed, but let's just leave it. Let's just reuse it. Okay, that's separated. Get this, any, all this schmoo out of here that's from Kind of leaky batteries over time. Not pleasant. Soldering iron's warming up. We're ready to go. Dispose of these cells carefully. They are still quite powerful in some cases, and that pack is actually charged. So I will uh, I'll actually submerge it in some salt water. That's the easiest. Just put it in a bucket of salt water, and then uh, then take it to your local recycler. Good to go. All right, I don't know how this is going to go exactly, but uh, we're going to try and solder on to what's left of this terminal here. Uh, it's not in the best position and it's not held the best, but we're going to try it anyway because I'm impatient and that's just the way I roll. So it's going to take a lot of heat and hopefully it's clean enough and it is. Solder's taking no problem. This iron has no issues with uh, dealing with big heavy things like that and now if I, there we go Earl tin I've got the silicone wire that I use on my quadcopter terminals it's good for way over 100 amps 
and we are not going to draw that much if we do something bad bad is happening and that's where that thermal protection will hopefully be of use but there we go solder onto there and we will go back with any luck and a little solder goofy hand over hand we will see if we can get that to take. It's going to take a lot of heat here. A lot, a lot of heat. So watch your fingers on that wire. Is even that silicone wire is going to get hot, hot, hot. And there we go. Good looking joint. Wonderful. Actually, that will do nicely. As long as that will fit up through and bend still. Yeah can't bend it because there's still plastic underneath there we may distort it but that's what we need and we'll reuse our, our negative here just for kicks it's uh oh, you can't see that off camera we will reuse this really crappy negative wire but it's plenty good enough for this <laughs> crappy in comparison to this nice silicone but that'll do the job and then we'll solder it to this xt60 and we're good to go All right, we'll let that cool down. That negative wasn't the best. Uh, better to not reuse that wire. There's a lot of contamination in there. I've cleaned it up, but eh, could be better. But this should do the trick. We put our positive over the top, and there we go. And this will fit up inside the case. Oops, on camera, Eric. This will fit up inside the case, positive to this side. Slide it up in there, boom. And we just fasten that in and we're good to go. Uh, I'll probably epoxy that in would be the best. And then we have our wire sticking out the other end, which uh, I'll just do some electrical tape or uh, would have been better to do heat shrink, but uh, this is good enough. Okay, I threw some electrical tape on there. Not the best compared to heat shrink, but plenty good enough. And I changed my mind. What we're gonna do is we're going to just hot snot this into place with just hot glue, because that will be the easiest for any of you to recreate and also the easiest for me to remove should I decide to switch this out for a different pack style. And so all we're gonna do is press that down in there until all the terminals are where they need to be. Normally this is done with the battery. And then we're going to apply generous amounts of hot glue, which can be easily removed with um, isopropyl alcohol. If you didn't know, it dissolves quite easily with that. So should I decide to remove this and do uh, proper NICAD battery because this lipo battery solution just keep in mind if you run your lipos down If you run it flat dead, you're gonna puff the pack and that's the end of it But uh, if you swap it out for like 18650s, which I can still use this battery connector uh, The 18650 cells are quite powerful lots of options and I'll definitely take it up to 18 volts uh, We're just gonna run a four cell pack for now, but yeah, let's go ahead and glue that down Okay, well, we got kind of hot snot everywhere. We'll let that cure up. There's a, there's a mess down in there, but that's going to hold our connections right where we need them to be. No problem. And there's no force on these. It's only, uh, it's only clamp force coming from the drill or the tool that we're putting it into. And I'll clean up this mess, and you should be good to go. Okie dokie. Plugged our 1300. This is uh, one of the weaker packs from my quadcopters. Works good enough for this. We'll plug it in, set it into place, and I think what we'll do, it'd be good to put that, that temperature sensor against the pack, but yeah, the, the bigger danger here is gonna be me being dumb and running the pack dead. And we're gonna have to take a chunk out of there to make some room if we're gonna use this cover. It is sharp and in the way there we go a little brute force and that's that and everything should fit in there now you can easily modify this and put uh, your lipo monitor in there your um, your balance checker and and battery monitor they're about two bucks 
uh, if you don't already have them. Uh, I can link everything that you'll need down below, but there we go. We have a functional pack. I'll throw one screw in it just for giggles and we'll test it out. Current act. And there we go. Spunky. <laughs> Lots of amperage available. More than this thing could ever eat. Ouch. Holy smokes, that, re <laughs> that removed skin. <laughs> Ouchie. Oh yeah, cooking with gas now. Cool beans. Does our vacuum work? Oh. Wonderful. So just like that, we've taken some tools that were destined for the junk bin. Nothing wrong with them, perfectly serviceable. Now we have our own battery in there. We can swap it out from whatever we want now. It's just XT60 connector. Make some quick releases here, even 3D print something. But we've saved it from going in the junk. That makes me happy. Throw a like on this video if you like what I'm doing here. If you like these projects, cheers guys. Good luck in all your builds.